Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Plate Up, and welcome to another food tutorial. Now, if you couldn't tell by now, we are going to be automating pizzas today. There are a few different ways to set this up to have auto pizza made. Now, in the beginning, you're not going to have all of these items. That's number one. And cheese pizza is what this makes definitively. definitively. Later clips, I'll show you how to set up a more advanced setup for mushroom as well as onion pie. It can be done. It just requires a lot more material and a lot more space, but I will show that later on in the video in one of the, uh, the other clips. But basically, this is what I've found to be the most compact way to do pizza. Now, I will show you how to add on grabbers after this and using a portioner to portion into a prep station. Now, for argument's sake, I'm going to put this portioner right here just to show that you can portion straight from the hob. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that because it'll make more sense as I show you a little bit of more of an advanced clip about how you can have more pizzas set up for the portioner. But nonetheless, this is the setup to have pizza one cheese pizza 100% automated and basically it's you have your tomatoes being pulled into a conveyor mixer your flour being pulled into a conveyor mixer your cheese pulled into a conveyor mixer and then the last thing which is the key ingredient is to turn your oil with the dough the dough ball into a pizza crust because if you don't have the oil what will happen is that this will mix it to be a pie crust and that basically will break everything so you can have semi automation where you're actually feeding this into a into a combiner by itself but this is the only method i've i've come up with where it's 100 percent automated so let's run through a day actually you know i'll explain a bit more so the oil gets pulled onto the combiner over here the combiner action with the oil pushes onto a dough ball which turns into a pizza crust which gets fed onto here the cheese gets cut, which gets combined onto here, as well as the sauce. It all happens kind of at one time. Now, you could have this pulled here, and it would combine all these things onto this. If you want to have a bunch of pre-made pies ready to go, say something like this, and then going into the hob, you could also do that. But again, this is the most basic setup for this, and I will show you what I would do as a more of a preferred type method I guess because the safety hop is slow so you want to have as many made as possible but let's start the day and show you exactly or the practice mode and let's show you exactly what happens when we get into that and, and uh, we can kind of go through what's actually happening here now as you see everything is being combined the cheese and the sauce will not combine onto a pizza crust until everything until the pizza crust is here meaning the cheese won't cook the sauce won't cook. It can't cook without the crust, nor will the nor will the crust cook without the sauce and cheese. So one's done. Well, I'm just going to put it over here for, for the example. And uh, you can see these make messes, but again, if this is automated, say this is hidden up here in your corner of your restaurant, it doesn't matter what messes it makes because it's going to be hidden. And there's two pizzas made. Right? Pretty straightforward. And especially because of the accent action of the mixer, let's get out of practice mode and I'll explain a bit more here. It seems pretty simple, but it does require quite a bit of things. Now, as I was saying, I'm using all conveyor mixers here. If you wouldn't have a conveyor mixer, all you'd have to do is put grabbers in between a regular or rapid mixer uh, or heated mixer, mind you, because the heated mixer is at the same speed as the conveyor mixer and the regular mixer. And the conveyor mixer will not cook anything until the action is completed um, and since it can't cook plain crust it will never cook anything that I mean that's an option if you're trying to roll for mixers and you got a heated mixer otherwise you'd put a conveyor belt in between these two in between those two these two these two so you'd have something like three more grabbers one here one over there and then one over here to feed it into um or the one where the where the uh, the cheese is anyway um you get the drift with that is if you don't have conveyor mixtures, use regular grabbers and we'll do the same thing in between. Now, this is the most basic way to set this up. It's basically, it's set up in a bit of a four by four grid with one extra space in the back here. 
So it, this setup here requires three conveyor mixers, three combiners, a safety hub, as well as four grabbers, your tomato bin, your flour bag, your oil counter, as well as your cheese wheel. And so it's basically a three, three, and four, three mixers, three combiners, four grabbers, and of course a safety hob. Now, if you don't have a safety hob or you want to use a danger hob, then just put this over here, have this combining onto a counter and then manually feeding onto the danger hob. Because if you have a danger hob here, this will burn as soon as it is finished, regardless if it is being pulled from a belt somewhere else, if it gets jammed up, this will burn. Now, to make this go a little bit further is you could have a couple things. One is you could put a portioner here, which will portion one slice at a time. An advanced way above that would be putting a prep station or a frozen prep station here. And I want to demonstrate what that does. This is my, a preferred method, and we can explain a little bit more as we go. And basically what this, what this is doing is, it is pulling... Well, you'll see it when it's finished. This will cook in a, in a portioner as well as you. You can slice a pizza on a hob. It allows you to do that action. And there you go. There's one slice, two slice, three slice. And when the conveyor action is finished, four slices. And then the next one is cooking already. And again, when this backs up, this will just sit here, etc., etc. This is a pretty good, and you could link multiple prep stations. You could have a prep station here. You could have another. I mean, you could link two or three of them together very, very easily to achieve the same the same type of goal here to have pizza ready. And again, these could be frozen preps. I'll just have a regular prep station for this example. Now, there is a sink method by using the sink to make the dough bowl, but I don't find that as efficient as this. Hence why I have it set up like this. Now, to add this little bit to it, you'll need a portioner. You'll need a grabber or a smart grabber, mind you. These could all be smart grabbers, by the way, as long as they're set to the appropriate thing. And this will go into a prep or a frozen prep or many frozen preps. Okay, so now we have a, bit, a little bit different setup here. And I'll show you what happens if we load this up. This is just another way of having more than one pizza be cooked at a time. And it's pretty straightforward. You guys will see exactly what happens. Here you're using a smart grabber because if not, it'll pull the plain crust off of it and that's you don't want that. And this is gonna cook and I'll show you what happens here. Again, the safety hobs are slow, but that's fine. It's gonna pull it there, pull it up there, and then it will automatically portion it from here. This will line it up, go like that. So it's pretty much as soon as this is completely filled up, and this is the fourth one, this one will be ready to go. And by doing this, it just allows you to have one, two, three extra slots like this, as well as having an extra one. And I'm gonna take this out of here for the example. So you have one more finished pie ready to go and you can have two pies and then three pies together. So it's a way to basically triple the amount of cooked pies you have. So, so as fast as you take these out, it doesn't matter because you'll be able to replenish them um, by the time the pizza cooks. Because once you get the steps going, it goes quite quickly and because each pizza gives you four portions. This is a pretty foolproof way, even if you take this whole one off and put it on a different counter somewhere to chop it manually if you want to, if it's not quick enough. And there you go. This is a bit more of an advanced way to do this.